Hello, this is a, a quick video uh, just to, to present uh, to you guys the UBTX uh, with uh, a Raspberry Pi uh, embedded. So it is a UBTX V5. So inside you have, uh, in fact, it's in uh, two parts. There is a main part here, the main unit. So in this main unit, you have uh, the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus inside. Uh, RTL SDR receiver, some uh, additional filter, some LPF. I modified quite a lot of things inside. So, uh, according also with the front panel, I put I had a lot of switches and on uh, push button. Also, I have a view view, view meter. It's uh, analog, and also you can have uh, some uh, spectral AF uh, spectral uh, display, and so on. The second unit, it's uh, in fact the power supply, plus a seven inch uh, display uh, a screen, a touch screen, plus uh, a one hundred and fifty watts amplifier on made, and also a transverter for the two meter on the seventy centimeter band. So for the V and UHF band, it's only 10 on 12 watts approximately. So later on, I will add a, 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 an amplifier, but the amplifier will be outside all the <coughs> device. So just to introduce you the UBTX, so here this is just a FT8 display, a reception. So uh, the UBTX, it's... Uh, embedded with a uh, uh, Raspberry Pi inside, so I can switch off and off the Raspberry here. So he, at, the, at the back, of course, you have all the, the wiring and so on in order to uh, to plug and to, uh, to link the display with the, <coughs> the UBTX. So according with the feature also, you have also DSP uh, filtering. You can see up. I can Put some filtering you can see here the filtering i will do some uh, after some demo according with the filtering also you have uh, so here you have the agc control so i have uh, agc inside um, i can uh, also switch to uh, fast on uh, slow agc capabilities here this is a uh, switch for the preamplifier i have also a hf preamplifier inside and after you have a three button here in order to control the transverter the hf amplifier and uh, also um, the some additional voltage for the ubtx i can drive also the ubtx uh, with a uh, 24 volts in order to have uh, about 20 20 watts uh, 25 watts in fact uh, output power i modify also inside uh, the output transformer because uh, the legacy transformer cannot handle such a power so this is a barely uh, with uh, the main unit also you have some led here in order to uh, to have a display about all the feature which one is activated or not so it's quite uh, useful for EGC, for example, and so on. So also we have a LED for the overloading. So if um, the AF is overloading the, <coughs> the the reception on the AF amplifier, can reduce also the the level of the AF. So here, this is the potentiometer for the volume here this is a potentiometer for the output power adjustment and here this is uh, for the uh, DSP filtering so it's working quite well here there is some push button regarding the all the quick access menu uh, bump up and down choose the mode the step uh, switch to SDR receiver and also to, for the VFO so it's quite also uh, useful and it's very very quick access so here it's very basic in fact because everything is at the back at the back of the UBTX I have a DB9 uh, plug so also here I put a DB9 plug so the LPF filter the transverter on the HF amplifier is controlled uh, directly by the by the ubtx here i just need a, a switch for for the display that's all
so that, uh, this is all I need uh, for for the front panel. Maybe later on I will add uh, some uh, some uh, <clears throat> additional LED or switch in order to control some uh, manually here from here if here there is any problem. So basically, according with all the the feature from the Raspberry, I'm um, using most of the software. I'm sure you are totally aware. Uh, if, uh, G GTDX, uh, WSTG, uh, uh, JQRX, and so on, so on. So I have uh, basically all the package used by uh, AM radio for the RPI. So here I have uh, the RTL SDR receiver. So here, okay, so I can on and off. Also, you can see with the cat, it's already. Uh, controlling it's all you can have the the display about the the frequency and so on so it's quite useful and also here you have uh, this so this is some uh, loudspeaker so here I put for example here so you can have uh, all the the reception here so I tap the um, the IF of the UBTX in order to feed the the SDR receiver, but also I can access directly to the antenna. It's up to me because uh, uh, there is uh, the RTL SDR. This is uh, this one. You can see there is a uh, two. Uh, uh, RF plug, one for high frequency, mostly from 25 megahertz up to 1.87 gig. On here, this is mostly for the HF band. So here, also I can control directly the the <coughs> the RTL SDR with uh, the the software here on the uh, on the Raspberry. So here you see it's working quite well. I can perhaps. Uh, See, there is some activity here, uh, not so many. I change the step. Yeah, there is some. Yeah, there is some. Uh, there is not so many activity. Here, so you can control directly here. Or, if I want, I can also go to. Uh, Another um, part of the JQRX, I can go for directly, you see, directly for, for the SDR. So you can see, I will show you. So, for example, for at this at this point I can I'm, um, I, I'm not controlling the SDR from the UBTX, but I, I can control here directly from uh, from the from the Raspberry, so it's uh, two different options: controlled by the UBTX or controlled directly by the um, <coughs> the Raspberry Pi and with the mouse, for example, or you can touch here with the touch screen. So it's quite useful. So there is also another feature. This is also, I'm sure, your J predict for the all the satcom uh, communication. So of course. Also inside what I have, I have also uh, a full control of my rotator for the satellite communication. So I can control directly here because at the back also there is a USB uh, plug. So at the back here I put uh, the, the cable up to my rotator outside the house in the garden. I can, and I can control directly the, the rotator. Uh, in order to track all the, the satellites. So the, the software is a uh, Ombu software, it's a Python uh, uh, API. So it's working working uh, quite well. I have no no issue uh, currently with uh, the, the satellite, uh, the antenna controller. So, okay, I can control here. So the, here there, there is, a, if I can, I want to control manually, I go here. Or, if I want to to track, I have another software sub tracker. Yeah, 
here under this point here you can see here all the or you can choose the satellite and so on on you start and when you start the rotator it's automatically uh, tracking tracking the the satellite uh, <clears throat> from the ubtx on the raspberry pi inside the ubtx so it's it's very very useful so i can use also also this feature if i have a a rotator for the HF band, so it's not the case uh, currently. I have uh, two HF antenna. One antenna it's a vertical uh, multiband, and the, the other antenna it's an end fed uh, 23 meters from 80 meters up to 10 meters band. So, so so far so good. So I can show you also APRS. Uh, also uh, capabilities and so on so mostly it's nothing special regarding the, the raspberry because uh, this is mostly all the software um, you guys uh, you are using uh, uh, regarding your uh, ham radio activity so that's all for today I'm quite happy to, to present uh, my uh, latest product so it took for me about uh, eight months in order to to build everything it was quite tough in fact because uh, i have a lot of uh, problem bit by bit i need to solve mostly a problem with a lot of uh, noise on uh, interference on spurious uh, coming from the different uh, circuit the raspberry the sdr the dsp and so on so it was not so easy to to solve all this problem but uh, so far i managed to to do it and currently it's uh, working working quite well no no problem it's uh, it's working quite well on uh, i'm more than happy about this little device so the main goal or, or mostly for for me it was uh, in to minimize the space in order to have a complete uh, arm radio station on uh, <clears throat> Before I was using a TS520 Kenwood transceiver, but it's huge. It's a huge transceiver, and it's not up to date eh, regarding the new technologies. Where there is no cat control, and it's not so so good for digital mode. But so far with the Raspberry, it's uh, quite good because I can use this device for HF, for VHF, for UHF. No problem. It's working quite well. So, 73 everybody, this is a Foxtrot 5 November Papa Victor going on QRT. Bye-bye.